Okay, let's mute the computer. Computer. It's live, Jesse. It's okay. live. Hi. Hi, everybody. We are live. And I am attempting to mute my computer. Yeah, but I... Nothing wants to work for me tonight, you guys. <laughs> Can you hear my dad's TV? Or no? No. Okay. They can't hear it. He said, good. Right, Dola Day! Hello, Hello, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Sandy's Sandy. like, oh, you did it. Okay, so I'm trying to get used to watching myself and looking at... Can I show this off, what I hit just now? Yeah. Guys, look what I hit. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. I said that. Malik, <laughs> look. Malik Adventures is here. And Malik. Danielle. Hello, Benny. Benny's in the chat, Daryl. What's up, Benny? Hi. How are you, bro? Hi, Dill of the Day. All right, everybody. As you know, we got Charlie here. He he cried when I told him I was going live and wanted to be part of it for a little bit. Um, of course, Rachel, who's that way tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome in our guest, Theme Park Lifestyle, Daryl. Um, you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about you and your channel? <laughs> Um, pretty much my channel is all theme theme parks. Um, I do not only just Disney, I do Universal, SeaWorld, and hopefully eventually I'll get a chance to travel to other parks such as Cedar Fair and Six Flags. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Awesome. That's good. Um, <laughs> hi, Ben. If you're listening, Malik said that Ben is listening. Ah, uh, well, editing, editing videos. Videos. I can't wait. I loved your guys' video today. That was an amazing Vlogmas video. <laughs> um, but we are super excited for tonight for two reasons. A new guest who's been in our chat several times. Yes, stole up a day I did, actually. Um, so this box next to me I'm counting as my late birthday present. <laughs> What the heck? Don't play with scissors. Now you're reminding me of Mertz. Um, yeah. We are um, talking about the movie Mistletones tonight. And Rachel has a box that she won from Dole Whip a Day, Rebecca. And she's going to go ahead and open that whenever she is ready. Do you want so, me to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, our internet has been super slow, so the vlogmas video is today is being uploaded now. Sorry, I was reading the like adventures. So, guys, I won a giveaway from Dole Up a Day, and all I had to do was put, what are you thankful for in the chat? And I want to say, put, I am thankful for my YouTube friends and family. Is that correct, Jesse? I believe so. And she drew a random name, and I got chosen. Only one winner got chosen. So, this box next to me is Maleficent themed. And I love Maleficent. Hi. And Charlie is going to be jealous and he's going to say, I want that. I want that. I want I that. What? Like he does with everything? Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of tape on this box, so hold on. I'm getting into the pre cutting stages of it. Hope you in your ears. Here. Hold on. There you go. Um, <laughs> Dole of the day. You should see what Jesse got me for my birthday. Or, you want to tell him, Jesse? About my freak I, out? She is super excited. If you weren't on her live um, Sunday, Saturday night. I'm no, Sunday night, right? That's good. Sunday night. Sunday night. Sorry, there's so much stuff in here, guys. Um, I got Rachel the Sorcerer Mickey. That's the last one. Sorcerer Mickey 
um, Loungefly wallet, the one with the hat and the ears on it. And oh, wow. she squealed. <laughs> Card! It was a Sorcerer Mickey wallet. Um, the one let's read. The, uh, yeah, the one that looks like his co the cosplay wallet, I think, is what it was. Um, so this card says, may all of the joys of Christmas fill your heart throughout the new year. What? Look at this yeah, card, Jesse. That. that is a pretty card. And, yes. wait, I'm not done. Um, congratulations on winning the giveaway. I hope yes, these items bring you happiness on your birthday. Never forget, you are amazing. Dole yes, Whip a day, right? Look yes, how cool this me. card is. Rachel. This is legit. Oh, it opens up. Oh, that's cool. Wait, we have the same card. Yes. But nobody's supposed to know that until like the 23rd day of Vlogmas. Who got it for you? <laughs> Was that from Rebecca? <laughs> yes. We're twinsies. Twinsies. Oops, sneak peek of my 23rd day of Vlogmas video. <laughs> Our newest giveaway video will be uploaded on Thursday. We made it on, we made it to 7-Eleven. That's what Malik said. Oh, awesome. I've never seen this card. I've never seen, I've never owned a pop of card, I don't think. Rebecca? Um, Jesse, what should we go to first? Um, just dive in. Okay. I'll, I'll do the thing that you said. So, I got a pair of Maleficent ears. Look how sparkly oh, these are. Dad, look how sparkly like these are. So now I can remove lips and ears. I'm a cool. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the smaller items first. So Charlie does not freak out. I got a <laughs> Maleficent tumbler. Look at this. So... <laughs> this thing is heavy. It is. But I, I love it. it. Yes, this thing is heavy. And I love, it's a Tervis, so it's one of those really, really good. Yeah, like, I've been looking brands. at the, um, what is it, the Ursula one. Get it. There's Maleficent right there. Get it. It is Get so it. cool. It's so detailed, too. Yeah, I they are. It. I'm going to be using that, like, road All trips and everything. <laughs> I got a, I'll pull one of the big ones out, a, oh gosh, this is so soft, Jessie. What is it? I have it? to figure out where her head is. Hi, Tiffany, welcome in. Hey, we, Tiffany. Rachel is opening her giveaway box from um, The Whip A Day, Rebecca. I got a, wait, which way am I going? Am I in the camera? Yeah, you're in the camera. Okay, I cannot see. There she is. It's so soft, Jesse. Is that a, um, I love a fleece blanket. blanket? Yeah, look, it's like this material oh, wow. on the inside. It's so soft. Um, I want to say that I did at the beginning of the chat put um Rebecca's link for her channel. Yes, check so, out Rebecca, please. Maybe she'll have more giveaways coming up. You never know. So, I got um, her channel is linked. And I will, at the end of this video, link it in the description, too. And comment down below. I got yeah. a... I love that blanket. Yes. A... Okay, let's see if this is going to fit me first. There. Yes. I got okay. a Maleficent bracelet. Um, oh, wow. Uh, she believed yeah. she could, so she did. Bye bye, everybody. Like I'm going back to the living room. Okay, you go back out to the um, living room, buddy. What is this up? Let's see. I think this is of Maleficent. Is that what is that of Jesse? I hold it up again. I can't. I'm not sure. Is that Maleficent's dragon? Or I don't know. It looks it like Maleficent. it, but I'm not really for sure. Oh, the dragon is right here. Look how cool this is. Ah. Oh, Here's wow. Dragon. There he is. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. And it came with this little purple charm. Or this little... 
jewel. And it fits perfect, look. There now you I go. can go jingle jangle. <laughs> um, I got another lounge fly wallet. <laughs> look at this girl. Oh, wow. Two in two cool. days. Two in two days, yes. Second lounge. I love out. that one. Oh, this is cool, Jesse. Look. This like thing like pops. It can go either side of the wallet. Oh, that is so awesome. So it reveals this side, and then it can go like this, and it reveals this side. That's nifty. And there she is, the evil queen. Her face is creepy, I must say. <laughs> no, I use that one for last. My dad's over here helping. I got a Maleficent special edition. Hold on. I'm going to keep them in the box, or try to at least. Oh, awesome. Here, wait. You can't see. Hold on. This is this is going to make it easier. Give me a second. Maleficent on them on. Where's Charlie at? Charlie went out to the living room. Oh, wow. Oh, the flames are behind her? The flames. I like that. Here, take this one. My dad's I can't me. wait to see where you guys display these because I know you guys collect and display yours. I got... Um, I'm just going to take them out of the box because it's easier. If this one is Maleficent Mistress of Evil, which we are reviewing next year. I want to, what month is it that we're doing Maleficent? Next month. Jesse. Next month. I will. Look at this one, guys. That date. Oh, that's. Oh, that really is the one from Mistress of Evil. I like that. It's from the actual movie. Yeah. I didn't so that, know they had ones for Mistress okay. of Evil. I got this glitter one, Jesse. Look, I'm going to get glitter <laughs> sparkles everywhere. Is it the diamond or glitter one? Is it diamond or like glitter one? This is a Hot Topics exclusive. Diamond collection. Diamond collection. Yeah, those who don't get the glitter everywhere. I have Ursula. Oh, she's even like it's super detailed. She's wearing a ring. Oh wow! Oh wow! And her finger, and her nails are red. I love that. The detail on these are so good. My yeah, dad's taking. I love Funkos. The details are amazing. My dad's helping me on the side, pull them out of the boxes. Okay. Whatever works. Ready? Ready, Daryl. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Wow. She even has her little raven up here. <laughs> that, that is, is a cool. Beauty. And if I want, I can take her out of her seat. But here's with her throne. That is a wow. That We have another we have another big pop coming out. That's and it's the last thing in the box. <laughs> Wait till you Okay, you guys ready to see this one? Okay, ready? Jesse, ready? Wait, Jesse. Wait, I want Jesse to see this. Hold on. Wow. Good deal. Oh wow. Oh my gosh! I want that one. <laughs> Dad, you should have seen Jesse's reaction. That is wicked. And this one you cannot take out of the stand. But like, look that, at the detail. I agree. That, that is, is wicked. Very detailed. <laughs> it's Woo! super heavy. I want to know how many pounds this weighs. And I've discovered. Does it say anything that it glows in the dark? Let's see. The dragon. On the throne. No. I've discovered the bigger pops, even though they don't feel like they're heavy in the box. Once you Thank take you, them out, they the feel heavy. Um, Benny said he's going to go up, hold up, and he's going to go order them. <laughs> There's the dragon. 
Oh, I know. There's so many that I need. On the box. It's on the front. Glows in the dark. Oh, oh wow. wow. Glows in the dark. Okay, now Rachel, you are going to be needing to take pictures of that when it glows. Um, yep. And it says, and now, what does that say, Dad? And now, oh prince, you shall deal with me. Did you hear him? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. So the details are really cool on this, like the tail. Yes. Yes, I love this oh. box. Thank you so much. Benny, um, I, I can't tell you. Very cool. Like, my family is complaining I have too many pops, but they're all in my room. I just had to <laughs> reorganize stuff and move stuff around because all my pops are usually behind me on the shelf here. But now my Christmas tree and my Christmas setup is there, so... I'm going to pet the dragon. All right. Now, speaking of Maleficent, was that the last thing, Rachel? Yes. Okay. But I speaking love of this, Maleficent, and thank you so much, Rebecca. Um, you said my January, reaction was the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, January 18th, our special guest is going to be Disney MUK, and we are going to be doing... Maleficent. Is there so, an original? Is there an original? Uh, Maleficent? There's Maleficent and Maleficent too. <laughs> there are my two of them. My dad's like my dad's like Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Um, so, Malik, if you can do this for me and Jesse and Daryl, maybe will you send us a picture? They have over three hundred pops. Wow. Okay, go to their vlogmas. They're their own channel and is it in the room tour? They actually did their top ten five each pops for Vlogmas. Mm -hmm. And they do a panoramic view. They like go around and show all their pops very oh, wow. slowly. Yeah. Um I wanna I'm add definitely gonna have to check that out. I wanna add Rebecca in our next swap. Hands down. I call this right now. <laughs> <laughs> After this um, yeah. Today's she, video is our 10 Disney Room Funko Pops. Yes, and it was... I'm jealous of the um, one of them because I we like all know I'm a little bit big. Of the box. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Look, she's even excited, Jesse. I said we should add her. Yes, I love... Um, I love the, okay. They have over 200 Disney pops, just Disney alone, Jesse. Okay, well, um, I just put the link to Malik's Adventures video in will chat. Will post the Rebecca's channel link yes. if you can? Um, Sorry. I'm going to, and I'm also going to put it in the description. My mouse is dying on me. My mouse is dying on me. Um, I'm also going to put it in the description afterwards. So, All I right. love doing reactions videos. Yes. Okay. Let's get to missile tones. This will be the first of. I think we have three others I'm after this. I'm going to see if I can sure. grab my. Sorcerer Christmas Mickey, so I can show them. Okay. Um, so we will start, while you do that, we will start with uh, Daryl. Who is your least favorite character in the movie? Um, I would have to say Marcy. I... She's my least favorite. I... I just didn't like her attitude towards the whole, I, like, the whole movie. I have to completely agree with you on that. Um, like, okay, I got it. Do you want me to show it real quick? This is the wallet that Jesse got me, guys. That is so cute. And it says Loungefly. And I noticed something, Jesse. Yeah. I, had to, I took 
I took out the thing, but the Sorcerer Mickey is in the card slot part, too. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's I love that. I gave and her Sorcerer a list. Mickey's I told her to give me a list of lounge flies and wallets and stuff and ears that she liked. And if I could get one for her, I was going to because she's been, wow, for almost a year now, a very amazing friend. Wow. Um, so I, I knew she, I knew I had to do it. So. Jesse wins I was all the giveaways. Yes. Um, let them know what we're doing next week, just in case Dolip a day wants to come in and Melik, because she says yes, she wants um, to in stay. Case you guys want to come in next week? It is Belle's Enchanted Christmas, and I believe we have Sandy and Cherie. Yes. Thank you, Sandy and Cherie. So I am super excited about that one because Belle's Enchanted Christmas was one of my all-time favorite Disney Christmas movies. So that is it, next week. So I'm going to have to watch it for next week. So I can chat yes, that is next week. Um, Dolip a day. And if Jesse's okay with this, I want to slot you down for one of our movies next year. Oh, yeah. Any. Um, I will message you about it. All right. So we got Daryl's least favorite character. Who's yours, Rachel? Um, Marcy? Unanimous! Her, <laughs> her attitude was so rude. Like, she reminded me of Sharpay, actually. No, yes, she reminds Michelle. me of Regina George. Oh, even worse. <laughs> even worse. Definitely, I gotta say worse. And who was your favorite character? My Holly. But I also liked the boss. He was really nice. Yeah, yeah I was... I, my, I picked Holly, too. I was like, this is just... And I'm glad in the end she made the right decision. But that's... Yeah. All right. What is... I'm going to start with the least favorite scene because I feel like there were more scenes that I liked than I disliked. So, Daryl... Why don't you go first? Um, my least favorite scene I would have to say is I didn't care for the ending pretty much. Um I felt like I felt like she should have became the, the top snow snowbell of the yeah. whole ordeal because her mom started it. So it should have related back, like they either came together and say, you know what, let's just make this one big huge group and still name it the Snowbells. Yes, I would, I completely agree. And honestly, that's what I thought was going to happen. I was disappointed that it didn't. Rachel, what's your favorite? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but least favorite scene. You want least favorite scene or favorite? Least. Okay. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but least favorite is a scene that I do not like, right? Yes. Okay. I just wanted a clarification on that. That's I okay. I did not like how Marcy was so rude to that Santa at the mall in the beginning. And she screams at the children. Remember? <laughs> that was my least favorite scene. Do you remember Mind that scene, Jesse? Yes. Well, I just watched it today you to refresh my yeah. memory. Um. I that's what I that was she did, and then she started cursing at the Santa, and the Santa and the kid is just sitting the there like, <laughs> "You're obviously the kid knew, hey, it's a mall Santa," but she's cussing at him, she's slapping him, she's threatening to off him. I mean, in front of a bunch of little kids. Oh, and I did not like what she did with the beard, like ripping after, it down after that. Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, uh -uh. I, I, I would throw hands love... with her if I was in that mall. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to see Charlie watch that scene, just that scene, and I want to know his reaction. Oh, he'd what be mad. He I can tell you now, he would have been mad. Okay. He does know that Santa has helpers, and that those are the Santas in the mall. Thank goodness. 
Um, so he wouldn't have been like, you know, that's not really Santa, but he knows also it's a movie. But he would have been mad because this child loves everything Christmas. We had to go get his brother from basketball practice last week. And Luke is like, hey, Grandma, when you drive home, go this like this specific way, the back way, so we can see a bunch of light. And after that, that weekend, Charlie looked at his daddy, and um, Lucas was telling him that Charlie just, like, completely loved and was in complete awe of all the lights. Even, even if it was just, like, a strand of lights around somebody's door, he was in complete awe. So if I, if my brother I actually decorated because his, he f- realized how much Charlie loved lights and the decorations. So he finally put up our decorations. If I was to look up, because like here locally we have a website that's called Boise Christmas Lights, and it will say what what things go to light music, what things don't, how big they are, and stuff like that, and where they are. If I was to find a site like that for your town and I send it to you, would you take him to those if I could find a site like that? Um, I know of a few, but we've got, there's this one house I want to drive him down past at night. Their yard is full of blow-ups. There's all time. Um, They're on the roof, too. Have you guys seen the, um, I think it's all on YouTube and TikTok. The house where they recreated um, Happy Ever After for Christmas? No. No, I haven't. They have the projections. They have the flying Tinkerbell. It's everything. All the song choices. Where is it oh, located? Wow. I think they're in New Jersey. But they have their the whole show on YouTube and Insta- uh, not Instagram. YouTube and TikTok. I'll have to look for that because that's awesome. Um, but does he, does he watch TV shows and does he like those kinds with the Christmas lights? I think so. Okay, loves, have him sit next. Like, certain things. Okay, have him sit next to you. On Hulu, they have the Great Christmas Light Fight, which is a show where they compete for oh, houses okay. in one show. I will definitely have him do that. Okay, I um, watched it and I love it. All right. Let's move on to favorite scenes. Rachel, what's yours? Um, my favorite scene has to be how Holly gets the boss involved and that where they take the girl into the restroom to get her to <laughs> I sing. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Who She's does like, that anymore, first of all? Right. It's not just that. The two guys go in and oh. she's in there. And did anyone notice the carpet in the restroom? I've never seen that before. Fancy was it just bathroom. me? Or did you I'm notice that? Either. Please tell me. No, the carpet was in there. Okay, good. Yeah. It's like, okay, what, what kind of bathroom is this? My bathroom doesn't even have carpet. Well, my mom <laughs> does. My mom doesn't have a wood floor, but, like, her bathroom is the back, of, like, the entire back of the trailer from one side to the other and like you close a little door to go to the toilet and then the shower is on like the opposite side so um yeah it's carpeted but we also live in a trailer so but um yeah that scene was hilarious all right what about you daryl um, my favorite scene was the bar scene when she seen her boss singing the Christmas songs, and, and it she's was just, just like, totally out of his character. <laughs> yeah, um, that was my second favorite scene. My first was the Christmas party after the one guy brought in the karaoke machine, <laughs> and then all of a sudden the boss and everybody's just like, "Wait, what is going on here?" <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I was like, the scene. And then, like, they all started dancing and singing the song together. It was like, okay. Um, Another part that I didn't like, like my least, another least favorite, Jesse, was when they were singing 
and the girl from the Bells group or whatever. What is their what is their other group called? The Mean Girl group. Snowbells. Snowbells. The Snowbells. That one of her people was filming. I did not like no. that. And it reminded either. me of Pitch Perfect time. because I feel like they did that in Pitch Perfect too, but I'm not 100% sure. I, in one of I them. I think they did. I think they did in Pitch Perfect too. If it wasn't Pitch Perfect, it was Bring It On. Cherie, you missed a big <laughs> reveal. It wasn't Bring Hi, It On Cherie. as well. Welcome in. Um, if you go back and rewatch the beginning of the stream, Rachel opened her very amazing giveaway win from Dual Whip a Day. And she loves all her stuff. It's amazing. Um, she, um, um, what's her name? Rebecca said she loved my reaction. Yes, you're, yeah. I, I did too. All that stuff was amazing. Are you comfortable? What are you doing? Was it me or did you guys get a mixture of Regina George, Corella Deville, and Marcy. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. I I was the only one. Okay. Especially with that white trench coat that she was wearing and that white jacket. And the way she was always carrying around that dog yeah. dressed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, Lucky here. Ugh. All right. It's not Tuesday without one of the cats. <laughs> this one is Lucky. He's my old man. Aww. I've had him for eight, eight years in January. Oh, wow. So, yep, my old man. All right. So I took notes. Cause I was like, I'm not sure how we're going to do questions on this one. So if you have questions, I that's have fine. one question, but that's about it. Um. All right, go ahead. What's your, your question, Rachel? How many hours do you think it took them actually to practice to get those lines and their vocals co perfect? Oh. So what and I do you think if so, any of them had a prior, like, singing, like, background in singing? So what I do know about it, Tori Spelling, she, was, she had a little bit of vocal experience. Um, that's the lady that played Marcy. And then Tia, the one that played Holly, she's not the singer of the twins. She's actually she's not? The one, no, it's her other sister, Tamara, that can sing. So, so did Tamara sing her? Vocal. No, she so did. did. She had to do vocal training. Ah, uh, I, I would have expected, you know, Tamara to do, you know, the singing part for then. <laughs> what yes. else has Tia been in? Is she... Like, is she that popular? Never seen it. Sisters, sisters. Never seen sisters, it. Sisters. The game. Never seen it. I don't know what she's in. I Other want it. Was it movies? Yeah. Me oh my god. Seen her in Girl, I'm gonna give you an education in Dancing <laughs> Mallory when we're done with this live. Twitches is a Disney. Actually, they're in a lot of Disney stuff. Actually. Yeah, have you ever seen Twitches? The Twin Witches? No, I don't think so. We should do it next. Is it Halloween? Yeah. Yeah. Write it down for Halloween uh, next year, and we'll do it. Okay. Scooch lucky for a second. I'm gonna see Rex in my way. Rachel. Yeah, never seen it. You've never seen these. It's no. two. It's two movies. It's Twitches and Twitches. Two. two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that and I want to do Tower of Terror next year. Yes. I have have to you find guys it seen there. that there's a new Tower of Terror movie that they're going to be making? I want to see it. There's Seriously? a new Tower of Terror movie. Yeah, there's a Space Mountain movie that they're in the process of working on and a Tower of Terror movie. Oh, my. 
What's her? What's a Tia's sister's name? Tamara. Tamara. Okay, I'm gonna see if I know her. Have you ever seen the real? Do you watch the Cooking Channel? Not really. Should I? <laughs> you just dug my pinboard machine. Oh, look at. Okay. Do you uh, have, have any you questions? Seen, um, I. Ooh, what questions? Um, uh, I don't think I do pertaining to the. No, I don't. Like, okay. I want to say this. Where I, how Marcy didn't want a diva coming in and taking over the group because that's what she considered Holly. Anybody else think this? Uh, Marcy was the diva. Yep. Yes. I mean, oh, what? okay. I so, think she was threatened by Holly. I do think she was threatened so by too. Holly because she was a good singer. Um, and her mom the group. You're making Melik feel old. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Honey, I'm 34. That's what they said in the chat. I just turned 35, so it's okay. It's all good. My childhood is not what apparently is considered the good cartoons anymore. For if you had a good childhood, it was because of these cartoons. No. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Those are not like the really good original Saturday morning cartoons. Um, Melik, you said, uh, what is their names? Um, they're, they're admitting their age in the chat to you, Jesse. You might want to read that. They're 32 and 31. Okay, see, I'm older than you. Um, so it's all good. <laughs> what's the Melik family? What's Ben and what is the other one? Danielle. Okay. Um, they said that they were watching this movie tomorrow. So I want their feedback if they have any questions. After. Yes, please comment tomorrow if I you wanna watch it. Okay, I had a kind of a question. What okay. happened to her mother? I would like to know the backstory on that. Oh, it, that is a good say, question. It didn't, they didn't say. Do we have any um, guesses? Because she looked I really wanna, young in that video. I want to say maybe a car accident or possibly cancer. Because um, Ben knows all these Christmas movies, the mom or the father always die of cancer or something. And it I've wouldn't be a true that. Disney movie unless the, the mom, mom was dies. dead. Yeah. Um, yes, Malik said, guess which one is which? The age. Uh, ben is 31 and Danielle's 32. Am I close? They said, which, guess which one is which? Ha ha. Like, you, you don't know me that well. <laughs> um, Surfer Girl said that Jackie was awesome. Was so awesome. Yeah, she played their mom. Wait, and the mom? TV it's show Sister Sister. Sister. Okay. Yes. Uh, Surfer Girl likes Sister Sister. Oh yeah, that was one of the best shows. Like you asked me if I watched a cooking show. Is it on Discovery Plus or is it on Paramount? I don't I, know if it's on either. Uh, no, I think she does her cooking show on YouTube. No, it I was think. on a cooking channel. Oh okay. At one point. Oh, Malik has flower bouquets in the chat. I'm guessing that means that you got it right. Maybe they're supposed to be cheery motes. They're, they're, they're cheery thingies. The congratulations if look, thing. If you look closely at them, though, they look like little flower bouquets. Yeah, on here. That's why I have my laptop up so I can see chat. Um, okay. I don't know if it was in reference to an old cartoon, but did anybody catch the name of the most adorable orange cat ever in the movie? Where was the orange cat at? No, I didn't. Bonkers! Wait, Ma oh, the cat was... Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch that now. Again. Where yes. was the cat located? That scene. In um, Holly's apartment, or Holly's place, was her cat. The beginning of the movie, she yelled at the cat for pawing and digging at her dress and then flushing the toilet on her. Yeah, the cat was bonkers. 
Thanks, Shree. Yes. And it's an orange cat. I'm gonna. Sh if you see my iPad up close, I'm gonna send Shree why I said that was flower bouquets. Okay. Um, do you guys remember the cartoon Bonkers? The cat. Yeah. yeah. The police. Cat, whatever. The police, yeah. He was orange. That's why I was like, did they do it on purpose? Because, you know, that that could be a little Easter egg in there. Mm. I was like, when I heard it, I'm like, oh my gosh. So, and of course, I noticed the cat. I mean, cat person. <laughs> <laughs> so. I know that one of them, one of the sisters, uh, Tia or Tamara, was on The Masked Singer. But I don't remember which one it was. It's Tamara. Okay. Yeah, it looks That's this the season. one I can sing. I think it yeah. was last season. I haven't watched this season, so. Well, then it was last season. I binge watched all of them and caught up. <laughs> 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 so. Um, did anybody think it was funny how Holly was blackmailing Josh to help them? Or not Josh. Why did I write down Josh? I don't know why I wrote down Josh. I meant Nick. Did anybody think it was funny how she was blackmailing her boss to help them? I did. I thought it was Gordon. hilarious. Basically, she was like, um, if you help us, I won't tell that you sing in a nightclub at night. You know, it was funny. Be there by 2.30 yeah. or this is online and goes viral. <laughs> I thought it was funny how the mistletoe I would love to see. I wanted to see her decorate. I wish I would. I don't know if they. I don't know if they showed it. No, everything was already decorated. I loved how the mistletoe. He's like, you can't put that in my office. This is not a public kissing space or something like that. And then he's like, take it down. Yeah. Like, seriously, why are you making her do it? Yeah. Why right. can't you just? You're a boss. Get up you. Did you find the part when she was in his car funny? When yes, she the squeaking. into the seat. Squeaking chair. Yes, he did. Yeah, like, like why is the seat squeaking? Like nobody ever um, sat in the car. <laughs> what did mom think about this movie? I like whenever your mom puts an input in. Um, she didn't watch it with me this time. She was out in the living room with my brother eating dinner. They were all out there mm. eating dinner. I watched it while I ate mm. dinner. Ask her to watch it next time. Oh, she'll watch it anyway. I want to make her watch Bells and Chances Christmas with me. I love making my mom watch Disney movies. Do you think um, Marcy has a a storyline why she was such a mean girl? Like, maybe her parents treated her like that. It's the only thing I could think. I wish like there was a storyline like she's treated like acts like a spoiled brat. Right. And I'm like, and it seemed to me that while they were doing the auditions at the beginning of the movie, that they, she'd already decided on who was going to be part of the group. Well, everybody else was still um, auditioning because she kept winking at that one girl. Yeah. And that was her friend. Yeah. It's like, really? And, and then I she did not. Okay, what? keep going. Keep going. And, and then at the end, she completely, like, disses her, like, calling her off key or whatever, off pitch. So, yeah. Not a good um, friend. I wish that Nick would have told her that she wasn't going to be, like, at, he wasn't going to be at the mall performance. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, he like, should have. Like, that. That made me mad because he talked her basically out of going to the snowbells, right? And keeping up the audition, and it's like, um, you just talked her into doing something that was the right thing to do. You just made out with her in the closet, and now you're just gonna turn around and go to um, Southeast Asia or and whatever. How did Marcy find out where she lived? Holly. I didn't like that. Well, they knew each other. 
I got that. Yeah, but, they knew each other. Yeah, they knew each other. Okay. And she knew her mother. Yeah. Which but in the beginning it was like she should be in the snowbells because her mom is a legend. She started the snowbells. Yeah. And I just thought that was just ridiculous. I mean Did you guys catch the scene where they was in the mall and it was dressed in red, just like on Mean Girls? Just Christmas. like the movie? Mean Girls, she the movie. Me, she reminded me of Mean Girls. Yeah. The lead. It did, okay, this movie, it, it was a mix to me of Mean Girls, a Christmas movie, obviously, mm. and Pitch Perfect. Yeah. I want to find more or like... Bring it on, or also the mm-hmm. music edition of Bring It On. Yeah. Sorry for those who don't, <laughs> don't remember what Bring It On was. In the chat, I'm sorry. Again, I love showing it on. Um, but that's just kind of what it was to me, and I don't know. I don't know, you know, if I necessarily liked the combination of it, but I mean, it was a good storyline. I just don't yeah, think they. I don't think they executed it quite perfectly enough or well enough, I should say, because I don't, do you even notice that whenever she was really being mean to somebody, Marcy got this like look on her face like she smelled something nasty? Yeah. Yes. Like, I didn't think that was like the right way to go about it because that just looked. I don't know, wrong. It's like, does your dog stink or something? Just. (laughs) But yeah. And I don't know. I think it also reminded me of um, High School Musical and Sharpay because Sharpay would have people go spy. Well, her brother, anyway. It was like a mixture of a whole bunch of movies into one. Yeah. It was weird. But it was a Christmas movie, and it was good <laughs> in that yeah, sense. I, I told Jesse the other day that I would actually watch this every Christmas because this was my first time watching it. Ever since you said it, girl, and you're like, hey, let's review this. She messaged and like, me and said she had a new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think should make a snowball, too. Story I would is love out. to see their outcome. Uh, Mistle- yeah, yeah Mistletone. Uh, yeah, Mistletones, yeah. So we should just like start that would be tweeting good. them. We should just start tweeting them and Instagramming the actors and be like, hey, want to make a Mistletones too? Yeah, that would actually be pretty good because I'd like to see what happened afterwards because mm-hmm. like when they got outside, it was like she's threatening like, if you guys go over there, I'm, you're out of the snowbells, blah, blah, blah. And they still all did. And they kind of stood up to her a little bit. So, but yeah, I'd like to see what happens. One thing I can't stand about a lot of Christmas movies. They just leave that ending there. Yeah. At least with like normal Disney movies, you get an ending that basically is like, okay, they can leave it there and it's fine. Right. But this one, I I'm I don't feel like they left it in a good spot. They didn't. Um, who knows? They may be another. Maybe. Who knows? You know, Disney they take like fifty years to make a a part two. Right, like next year we're like finally getting take, Hocus Pocus two. I feel like <laughs> they take fifty years to add stuff on Disney Plus. Like it took forever to get Enchanted on there. Right. I remember when me and Jesse wanted to review it, and I could not find it anywhere. It was not. Yeah, we couldn't find it anywhere. Wow. I'm waiting for him to add Tower of Terror because they've got all the other movies on there. I think think they will. Um, when they start working on a new Tower of Terror movie, they might add the old Tower of Terror. I hope so. I love that. I mean, not Hocus Pocus, the Haunted Mansion. I think they're redoing the Haunted Mansion. They are. I heard that too. We talked about that um, in October. Speaking I, of Haunted I Mansion, I want to tell the girl this. 
if super they quick. make it based on the ride like it's supposed to be, I think it'll be a little bit better right. to most, most Disney fans. Like, I've never, unfortunately, been, but I've seen yeah. point of views and all that from the rides. And I honestly liked Muppets Haunted Mansion better than I did the original Haunted Mansion movie because it was more true to the Disney the ride. Attraction. Right. Right. Just like Tower of Terror, I think, I'm not entirely sure, is just about true to the attraction as well. Right. It is. Um, so I, I prefer if you're going to do something based on an attraction then it needs to be ba based on the attraction completely. When I found out Haunted Mansion wasn't like the movie, I was like... Yeah, well, it's not at all. I was like, what the heck? So, yeah. Listen, if they make this movie about Space Man, I don't even know how they're going to even do that. Like, <laughs> I think that might be a big flop. Because yeah. even the movie Tomorrowland, um, I, I didn't like that, that movie. That wasn't a good movie at all. I watched so. it once and I was like, no. Because my friend's like, you buy every Disney movie. Are you going to buy this one too? I was like, no. <laughs> no, I can't. I, I didn't like it. I will not buy it. If I don't like the movie, I will not buy it. Right. So... It's like, I don't buy every Disney movie. And I haven't bought any in a while. So. I need now to get Jungle Cruise. Disney Plus, it's even harder to buy a Disney movie now. Because you can just go right on Disney Plus and just watch it. Like, Right. Or you can buy um, the movies on Vudu or Movies Anywhere. Right. Just buy the digital copies of them. You don't have to by the physical so um we bought uh me and jesse bought our friend who's another live streamer well i bought um, him, oh tim and gretchen yeah T, uh, Marvelous the Marvelous Adventures of Teen G. yeah we bought him a i bought him a haunted mansion muppets poster and they opened it on their stream yesterday jesse oh, tell wow. tell daryl the reaction they were blown away it, like, I've it never was seen a reaction movie that. theater sized movie poster. Okay. It was like then, the legit movie poster. Wow. And I'm like, of, oh um, wow, yeah. I was shocked. I loved it. Are you a part of Disney Movie Insiders? No. I know okay. I am. Um, he needs to sign up because that's where I got that poster at. It was like 700 points. But you get free points like every week, almost. Like this whole month, they're giving away what, like 10 points a day? And Five, that's where I got that poster. 20. That poster was, only, the poster was only 400 points, Jesse. Yeah. Um, and you can get like not sponsored or anything. You could also get codes out of your movies and okay. stuff. But um, it's just, I, I don't know. I feel like the point system anymore, it's just like they put them really, they make it harder to get points anymore. And they're, the things that they put on there, like they have a new emos right now for a thousand points and their outfits are like 400 points. And they, oh, they had a, they have a lounge fly on there. That's the most ugliest lounge fly that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I haven't seen it in person. But by I that photo, the, um, Cruella de Vil. Oh, it's Cruella, a Daniel Nicole. I don't think the Cruella bags from the movie um, were that popular. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna pull this up because I want to show Daryl what this. What this? It's a Daniel Nicole bag. It's like how many it's points hideous. is it, Jesse? It's like a. It's Thousand? like you let your kid. Um, it's like your kid. Like you let your kid draw this bag on this bag. It's like that ugly. Really? Yeah. It's that bad. I am in the process of actually um, collecting D 
Disney book bags. I started my first collection. Like I got three Disney book bags now. So I want your on. Fort Wilderness bag. <laughs> I want a lounge fly for my my Minnie Mouse. They Minnie have Mouse? um, yeah, they have um Disney Numio lounge fly polka dot backpack. Mm -hmm. They've got little lounge fly backpacks for your new new emos. I want one for my Minnie Mouse. I don't know if Gotta it's gonna... check those out. Here's the lounge fly. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's um, hideous. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> advise anyone to get that. Because I don't know if it's supposed to be like Halloween or. Jesse, no, it's read what Katrina said. The movie. Wait, read what Katrina said, Jesse. The chat. I need lounge fly. I don't have any cough cough before. <laughs> well, <there's probably> <laughs> I'm not going to say yes, anything. We else, know how many you have, Katrina. And, and she's there's probably, probably getting... more sitting in boxes because we know your friends probably sent you some for your birthday. Which, by the way, y'all, Katrina's having um on. If you can post the, tell us what time. Katrina, because I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, Saturday. Whose channel? On Katrina's channel. Does she have the link set up? Because I can post it. Um, I think she does. She is doing um her birthday live stream. So. Katrina. Yeah. She. She's uh. Oh, doing, I think it's her first it, live yeah. stream from her channel. Let's ask her so, what she thinks of this bag since she's a lounge fly expert. This yes, is a Daniel. Katrina, what do you think out. of this bag? It's like a kid drew on it. it does. I feel that way too. Thought the only thing I liked from that movie was the like song they had in there by um Joan Jett. That's about it. I haven't it seen like it a yet. Kid took his mother's lounge fly in a a sharpie and then was drawing on it and was like look right look what I did. <laughs> and katrina if you know anyone because i know you have a lot of that one is cute okay she's not a fan of white gee if you know anyone that owns that i want you to have them send the send us a picture of it Okay, I'm going to post the link because Katrina was nice enough and sent me it. Oh, awesome. Easier than getting it. Kat grabbing it. Katrina is getting going to Disney, Daryl, so you should try and meet up with her. She lives in Florida already, but where yeah. is she going? Is it like seven days? I don't know. Is the countdown countdown's on her Instagram. Um. Oh, that should be fun. Yes. I love the pictures she posts. They're always fun. And she's good uh, friends with I'm Pete. Literally, yeah. I literally stay like 45 minutes away from Disney. And yeah, I go there like almost every other day. <laughs> oh, Monday. Oh, I wish. Not. Uh, you should meet up with Daryl. I don't know when the next park ridge. Is. <laughs> that uh, bag is here, next... yes, Cherie. Speaking of Cruella, we will be discussing that one in next month as well. Um, um Daryl, Tr Tr Katrina said where she is located. Oh, she's just like an hour. Okay, cool. She dropped out ready for Thomas. Okay. Sorry, I was just like passing something. I where okay, is my you... list? There you Sorry, go, girl. Looking for my list. Um when is your next stream from Disney, Daryl? So I'm not streaming for a little while. Um I'm blocked out from Disney. What does that technically have... mean? I, I know okay. so many so people. I'm an annual pass holder, so it depends on what kind of annual pass you have. So I'm the gold, I'm the old pass, which is the gold level. So Christmas, two weeks before Christmas, 
um, they block you out where you can't go to the park at all. So you, you can't go on those two weeks. It's Christmas and I think spring break are my block blockout days. That kind of sucks. Not really, because that's when everybody goes and you don't want to be in a crowd with everybody. Um, New Year's. I want to ask you about that. Are you going to be streaming? I surely will. On like, are, are they doing fireworks? Have we heard? Yes, they are. Jesse, I'm I sorry, guys. I'm just listening to my nephew laugh. <laughs> Is he laughing at us? No, I don't know what he's out there laughing at. Okay. He's just like, it's contagious. Oh, can I show Katrina what I got real quick? Just a few things. Okay. Show her, the, uh, show her your wallet. Katrina, first of all, wait, I want to show what you got me for my birthday. So Jesse got me this wallet, Katrina. Sheree, you've been you, blue. Yeah, Sheree. <laughs> she got me this wallet, Katrina. So now I'm an official lounge fly walleter. I'm going to call it a walleter. Walleter? Also. <laughs> Sheree, you've been blue for like weeks. Go <laughs> with I want to give away from Dole of the Day. So if anyone wants to see all the stuff, they can go to the beginning. But I got this yeah. wallet, Katrina. Yeah, I know. And it has sort of, sort of Mickey inside of it. She screamed when she got it. I had to tell everybody to cover their ears. <laughs> Listen, you got to start collecting um, wallets now so that whenever you decide to take your Disney trip, you'll have a wallet for each day. Mm -hmm. I... Um, um, Danielle from Melek's Adventures won my birthday slash one year giveaway. The mm -hmm. big prize was the Kiss the Girl wallet from Lounge and this is the, oh, wow. I didn't show you guys this, but this is the inside print. Oh, I like the print of that oh, one. I like the print too, yeah. That's nice. Yes, they are Christina, cute. I Do you own any of these bags? These two, I should say? Oh. <sighs> Just she's gonna pull out hers now. No, this is the wallet I have. Well, um, I like that. I'm a big well, I'm not gonna say I'm a big fan of Little Mermaid. I like the Little Mermaid, but I'm a big fan back. of Ursula. What is your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie? Yeah. Hmm. I'm making him think. I would say The Lion King. The Lion Which King? One? The first one, the original one. March 22nd, we are doing the live action Lion King if you want to join us. Sure, why not? Sign them up. There you go. <laughs> well, I just happen to have the list in front of me. <laughs> the one with Beyonce, you mean? I've got up to April written on here. Oh, I have a good themed month that I wanted to tell you about eventually. What theme? Future, I think it was. No. I can't oh, be right. by the way, y'all, I, to... I am open to theme ideas for next year. So far, we have villains, couples, best friends, and siblings. I want to so, do... Completely what open to other themes. I want to do pirates. I want to do one of the pirates so badly, but I don't know what theme that would be. Adventure? That's what I was thinking. Maybe. But then that's kind of broad. Well, I'm thinking I can think of three pirate movies off the top of my head. Which ones? That we could do that are different. There's Treasure Planet. Mm. Oh, Katrina, um, will you send me a picture of it, please? I would love to see it. Pirates Sorry, of the Caribbean. Sure. Tinkerbell um, and the Pirate Fairy. Mm. Um, I'm sure we can find others. And Shuri, which bag do you have? Oh, um, she, I believe, has the bag that matches my wallet. Katrina owns the Sorcerer Mickey bag. Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, I want to see your pre-order list, please. 
because I want to know what mean, bags you're eating next. This girl has forgotten what bags she ordered, probably. Um, I have. Wow. Oh, my bags are currently covered up. I've got the Jafar. Let me see if my notebook's right here. Hold on. I wish that they can make these bags as book bags and not just the lounge flies. I know the lounge fly does have full size book bags. Okay. Um, because I believe Nicholas Mertz, um, Disney Mertz, he got a Wally one, I believe. Cool. Um, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have to do some research and check it out because yeah, that's my thing is but Disney bags now. I have this one. And I really want the I just find out there's a Ryan Tuck Tuck bag. I really want the um Ursula one that came out with um like her crystal ball yeah. in the front. I really want that one. If you hear me flipping through pages, I'm looking to see where my li where my list is. I have this one. Oh, I like that one. This is the neon it's like a retro. Bag. It's like a retro. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I love this one. And shout out to uh, Adventures with VP because that's I want it from them. So okay, I got it. Um, we could call it Sea Trips because Pirates of Caribbean is sea. If you think and about I got it, this one, which is Harry Potter. That's cute. That's cute. Wait, hold on. Jesse, did you um, hear my idea? Yeah, I did. I I'm just going to have to do a movie for Pirates it. and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which I've never seen. Ooh, that would be a good one. And then I thought of another theme, safari movies. If we don't have Jungle Cruise, we could put Jungle Cruise, Jungle Book, and Tarzan. I thought about doing a... Um, I think jungle Lion thing. King can go in there too, actually. Safari. I have Lion King under best friends. Oh, best friends, okay. Yeah. Um, let's think. Jungle themed. Jungle Cruise, Jungle Book, and Tarzan. How do you feel about that? I like that. I really want to do Jungle Cruise because I'm just, um, yes, um, totally oh, agree, I've, I've never seen that, Katrina. Is it on Disney Plus, though? I think it is. My mom no, was jungle. watching it. Jungle, jungle to jungle. jungle is funny. Is it on That's Disney Plus? That's a good idea. Where can we find it at? I think it's on Disney Plus. Let me check. Well, Katrina, Jesus, Disney Plus. I'm going to volunteer you for one of these if you're suggesting Jungle the Jungle. Um, I really want to do... You know what I would love to see someone do? And I've been requesting this from one of my friends because she does, like, um, watch oh, the hours. Watch the watch party girl. Yeah. I love her. She's amazing. So... I've been requesting Roger Rabbit. I don't know what <gasps> it is. I want to do that so bad. No we one. are going to do that. I just haven't figured out when. Okay. Oh, put Katrina down for Jungle to Jungle. She's down for it. Okay. Um, um, what Do you want to join us one, if we do Roger Rabbit? If we do Who's in Roger Rabbit, it of is course. probably going to be on a Saturday. Okay. This being because that is probably the only day I will be able to get the guests, other guests that I really want on the show. I and that would be Tim from Marvelous Adventures of TNG okay. because Who Framed Roger Rabbit is his thing. He is <laughs> all about it. Like, he will hunt down on eBay. I mean Old, Can I post like, Tim's channel? Stuff. Yes, post on um, TNG. Um, he he loves Roger Rabbit. Like, I'm thinking they actually kind of blame me. I think they just uh, spent money on pins. 
wow. because I've seen some in a Disney pin trading group selling a bunch of LE and, you know, ex- wear Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit pins. And um, I might have accidentally on purpose sent them the link because I oh, know wow. he loves all that. And they said something about how because of me, they've spent like just spent money on a bunch of pins. <laughs> so, but um, yeah. Um, oh, I think when did that's that a classic that's class? that's forgotten. A lot of people don't even mention Roger Rabbit anymore. No, and I love it. It. I remember going on it at Disneyland, the ride. And I loved that ride. When did they put actually... Edward Scissorhands on Disney Plus? Friday. <laughs> that's one of my favorite movies. It, it, it's it's is under holiday a, movies. Is that a Disney movie? No. no I don't think they... Oh, Edward Scissorhands is one of my favorite. Wait, who wrote the movie? Um, who wrote the story ever suits and hands? Wasn't it the same guy that did um Tim Burton Nightmare before Christmas? Okay, so yeah. that's why. Probably. Look what uh, look what uh, Katrina said. Yeah, she's done the same thing. Like I can't help it if I see something I think somebody will like and they always say they're looking out for the stuff. I mean I kind of do it that way. Um. Oh, I want to tell Katrina something real super quick because Daryl and Artie, you already know it. Katrina, my friends, uh, tripping with the Turners, got stuck in the Boardwalk Hotel for forty minutes today. (laughs) Did they ever get out? Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> Fire department was called and they had to use a the ladder. The first thing they did was they oh, got wow. the kids out first. And then the, um, I think there was a handicap person Yeah, there was a there. handicap lady in a wheelchair. Yeah. And I didn't see yeah. her in the stream. But... Yeah, no. It, it was, it was just, I was like, you are now entering the fifth dimension. Like on a tower of terror, because that's what pretty much happened. Yeah. Um, I want to do a Marvel month. I know we haven't done them in a while. Um, Imagine if we had a cosplayer on our stream. That dr- just picture this: that we had like a cosplayer, and they that dressed would be up hilarious. as um, um, Captain America for one month. Yes, yes. Thank you, Katrina. I thought the same thing. Since when is Ice Age a Disney movie? That's Paramount, right? I thought so. Huh. I mean, they've got an ice they... age. It's it's crazy. Even the mistletones, I I didn't know that was a Disney movie at one point because when I seen it, it was on a, it was on um lifetime, Hallmark. home yeah Hallmark, Hallmark. And lifetime yeah. But then I see it was by ABC, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, ABC, I get. That's that's why I'm like. So where are all the other ABC Christmas movies at? Because there were so many of those. And Diary of a Wimpy Kid. What what is that doing on Disney Plus? Is that is is that Disney? Mm mm. No. Mm-mm. It's even Roger Rabbit. Is that even on Disney Plus? Roger Rabbit. It was at one point. It was at one point. I guess Daryl, I should ask, what is the next movie that? What's her name? Disney Girl. Is that her channel? Disney Disney Daily. Yeah. What's the next movie that she's watching? Um, I think she's doing. I'm not doing for sure. I want to say it's a nightmare before Christmas. Oh, we're, we're doing, doing that one in the month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the one she's doing. Well, she doesn't really get into detail about the movie. It's more so they come together to watch the movie. Um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is on Disney Plus. 
I just pulled it up. That's funny because you said it has the same thing as Katrina at the same time. Um, Horton Hears a Who is on there. Wow. I, that, that, that's weird. Oh, okay. I ha sorry to intervene, but I know so I I think Jesse like. Do you like minions, Jesse? Charlie likes minions. Look at this popcorn bucket. That's at Universal Studios, Florida. I just had to intervene. Oh my! Oh my! Yes, that too, Sandy. It doesn't make sense. I. Some of this stuff I just maybe, don't maybe get. Maybe they're getting more like Netflix and they're just going to have random. Yeah. I mean, they do own The Simpsons, but it's like, that's not really Disney, but they own it. Yeah, trust me. My brother, when I got Disney Plus, he was, I made, um, I share it with him. And I made him his own profile and everything. And one of the first mm -hmm. things he did was binge watch The Simpsons. I know this will never be on there because of crap. But I really wish um, Song of the South was on Disney Plus, but it's never. Oh, uh, Disney there. brought part of Paramount. That is what Katrina is stating. Yeah, there's. And then Paramount's trying to do a Paramount Plus. They're they're um Me and Jesse have Paramount House. I like it. Yeah, it's mostly CBS stuff though. Yeah, Survivor's on there. Yeah. Speaking That's of that, I, I need to get it. caught up. Okay, there's starting to be too many um of these different movie channels, the movie stations. Because there's Amazon has their own and Disney Amazon. Has their own Netflix. Speak it. Wait, Daryl, did you hear about Amazon today? I don't know if it's backup, but Amazon Prime was down for like five hours today. Oh, no, I didn't know. Oh, Amazon was down. The parks were effed up. Sorry, my language, but. Oh, wow. Because of whatever they did with Amazon or I think it was, things Someone weren't was working at all. Someone wow. was making a joke in the Turner's chat about Amazon caused it. That they got <laughs> stuck it wouldn't surprise me. Looking to see if there's any Disney Channel original movies that are Jungle Vibes. I don't think Disney had any original. Oh, when did the you Disney say the next Channel original movies? I don't think they had any. When that did you see the next vibe. time that you're going to the parks? Um, um, I know this was... The next time I'm going to the parks probably will be after Christmas. Oh, never mind. I was going to oh, ask well, you to film the Jingle Cruise. I can go and do that. I can do that tomorrow. I mean, I don't go to work until we Oh, 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 sorry. So how are you get, tomorrow. How are you going to film it? It's you don't have park reservations. I can get park reservations. Oh, okay. Go in with your friend, I guess. Yeah, I think. Uh, hold on, let me check right now. If not, I can. Well, I'll say this. Oh wow! I Katrina. am. I am a cast member. Jesse. What? Did you hear what he said? I heard something about a cat scooper. Cast member, Daryl. Oh, I thought he said cat scooper. I, now I have to ask you. I'm not going to ask you any behind the scenes questions, but do you know Josh goes to Disney? He works at Animal Kingdom? No, I don't know. I work in a whole different part from Disney. I, I actually work from home. Doing what I do for Disney. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, will you do that, Katrina? I'll love you forever. If you can't get it, she can on Tuesday. Awesome. Okay, well, I found one, you guys. 
Um. Oh, he works for Epcot. I didn't know. No one up. No, Jesse doesn't tell me. I'm sorry, Katrina. I didn't know he Jesse? moved to Epcot. Yeah, I, I, I knew see, he was I don't really not in the people. Anymore. I speak to people every day, but I don't see them. Um, for pirates, we can do jumping ship if we do it like a um ship theme. Or there's another movie called Tiger Ship or something like that. Tiger Is it on Cruise. Disney Plus? Yeah, they're Disney Channel Plus. movies. I would just have to find them completely. I'm sitting here looking. I'm not seeing all of them anymore. These are all movies I grew up on. <laughs> Um, you have a like a, a, a under the sea theme or like we did Ariel. What other ones were you thinking? There's a whole bunch of Disney movies pertaining to the sea. That's actually do... a good idea. Nemo. You have the little. You do have a Little Mermaid. You have Nemo. Well, we actually movie. wanted to do a second Little Mermaid movie because there are three. There are three. Okay. Um, I have to get off in a there's second. Splash. Okay. I just thought I'd tell um, you that. Uh, there's Finding Nemo. Splash. Yeah. Finding oh, yeah. Let's watch Splash. My dad was showing me. Is that the one that you were showing me? She said Luca. <laughs> Katrina did. Yes. We, we, oh, wait. No, I have Luca for best friends. Although I don't know if that'll work. I might get a different one for that. Um, Luca I have to, feels like it'd be more of an under the sea movie. I have to hop off in a second. I'm just like, giving you a heads up. That's a good one. I'm going to actually change that since that's not. Um, Nemo. It'd be funny if I had, you know, it'd be hilarious, Jesse, and I know I'm doubting it's going to happen, and I'm not going to ask him, but there's a guy on Twitch that I watch, and he dresses up like Jack Sparrow, and he has, like, the, they call him Captain, they, like, ha Captain, and he's, like, he has a jar of dirt in his hand, and he's go he goes, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> I'm, like, I say that, and people look at me, like, what is that from? I'm, like. Really? Um, let's see. I don't know. There's so many movies that I still want to, like, that I just need to go through to see what we can do. Yep, we can do that. So, all right, we are going to go ahead and uh, go through real quick. Do you have anything upcoming on your channel, Rachel? Um, maybe I'll do a small little giveaway since I hit 900 today. Maybe, I say. Okay. And, um, not really. I guess I could film what I got for my birthday, right? You could always do that for the people that get an up-close view of everything. Oh, by the way, yeah, I started that'd be reading. Cool, you got some neat stuff. I started reading Hocus Pocus. See, people like books for their birthdays. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got her the yeah. um, Hocus Pocus and its sequel for her birthday. Oh, wow. I, re I read. I read the back cover that basically tells me what the movie, what the second one's going to be about. And I'm like, hey. But I'm I, no spoiler. Um, I bought it for myself last year, and then I bought it for her this year. Um, what do you have coming up on your channel? Well, tomorrow I am going to Magic Kingdom to film Jingle Cruise for Rachel. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Jesse, um, is there anything awesome. that you want him? To Wait, Jesse, is there anything that you want him to film? Little nope. Mermaid does not film. 
I know. I've seen it enough maybe already. The new, maybe the new holiday merch, if there is any. New holiday merch? Okay. Yeah. I can do that. Um, but I am currently working on a vlog. It's more of like a versus battle um, between different parks. That, okay. but the one I'm working on is between Disney and Universal. So that should be coming on Sunday. Oh, that sounds uh, awesome. When is your next stream with your friend? Um, oh, gosh, I don't even know his name. What's this? What's your friend's name that you stream with? That you told me, hey, come check out. It's our first stream ever. The show that you Hobby? guys started. Hobby? Yeah. Oh, so that's on pause for the moment because of some work stuff that Hobby has going on. But we will be back to doing that in 2022. Okay. I like that. I like that segment that you guys started. Awesome. Um, let's see. For me, every day until the 24th. I have a video coming out, just a short three to four minute, one, well, one and a half to four minute video, depending on the card, um, for the 25 days of Christmas card swap that Jamie's Disney Kingdom and Vicky Tigger Tales co-hosted. Um, I got my one for today up that apparently I accidentally skipped day seven, so I had to go in real quick and get it up before this stream. Um, but I double checked. All the rest are scheduled out. Um, on next Tuesday, we are doing Bell's Enchanted Christmas with Sandy and Cherie. And then this will be Sandy's second movie that she's joining us. No, this will be her first. No, because it'll be we had a cancel first movie, out. second time. Um, yeah, first movie, second time. And then. I'm going to hopefully be recording it soon if Charlie cooperates. I am going to be <laughs> recording for Christmas Day. I'm going to post it Christmas night. A reading of Nightmare Before Christmas is The 13 Days of Christmas. Um, it's a book I got off of Disney Movie Insiders. Insiders. Um, and it's cute. So... You're going to laugh because I'm probably going to get tongue-tied. But that one is also coming up. Along with um, Santa Paws on... With Tiffany. In two weeks. And then Nightmare Before Christmas to round out the month. On Tuesdays. So yes, first movie review, second time I'm joining. Yes. Wait. This is her first time joining. When was the second time? She, her first this time, we, we just did Disney chat. We just did a Disney chat. When instead. was the first time? Last week? When was the week before? We had to cancel that Saturday. You weren't feeling well. No, but that Sunday, we ended yeah, up we had to cancel that. Then it was a Tuesday. I don't know. We canceled the movie and just did a chat or something. I'll send it to okay. you if you don't remember. So that is it for me. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. I will message my bye. suggestions. All right. Bye.